Wyoming is just, it's just a great place to live. It's a great place to raise kids. Lots of nice, clean air. I'm going to end up traveling all over the place. You know, this is the place I want to be. Plenty grows food indoors, and that allows us to grow it almost anywhere. I mean, it allows us to grow almost anything. In much of the world, where food supplies are constrained by the geography, by the environment, uh, we can go to those places we can grow food. A lot of what we do here in Laramie is focused on understanding the plant and understanding how to get the most out of the plant. What is the next generation of plant science questions that need to be asked uh, to grow fresh, healthy food in these farms anywhere in the world? And so we take the recipe for, that we develop here in Laramie and we put it into farms that we build around the world. The Business Council has been super supportive. It's great to have a personal relationship and know that we can get things done because everyone is motivated and all of our interests are aligned. Whether we like go from state to uh, local to like kind of this community level, university, state government, uh, city government, like all of these different parties in Wyoming are very intimately connected. You know, as we went through the discussion of how do we grow our footprint in Laramie, it takes on a very nuanced and intimate tone because they understand what's happening in Laramie. We want to provide jobs. We want to do new, amazing things here. We want this to be a center of, of growth and excellence. You know, we're working on building the largest indoor ag research center in the world here in Laramie. And how do we uh, get more folks in Laramie, more folks in Wyoming that are tied into this industry? This research center, I think, is kind of the first step in doing that. I'm pretty excited about, you know, turning Laramie into, you know, the equivalent of Silicon Valley for this thing and uh, making it the center of attention when it comes to great plant science. What we've learned in Laramie is that we've got a lot of folks that are very humble and hardworking and pretty darn smart. You know, I think that that is kind of a hard combo to get. I love the community, it's very down to earth. You know, it feels like home. So as we start to attract those folks, you know, we're gonna work on recruiting them from um, all over the US, all over the world, trying to get them to come here to Laramie to work with us. Wyoming has a great set of values. This state has gone through a lot of transitions. You've got booms and busts, and every boom is a transition, every bust is a transition. And uh, we can be hopeful about more jobs in the future, better paying jobs in the future, more opportunities uh, to work in different places across the state. This is gonna be a big industry. I mean, it, it just feels full of possibility, especially in a state like Wyoming, where a lot of people will leave to go do the big thing. What if you could stay in Wyoming to do the big thing? This is a state that, that is full of legacy and history and a lot of valuable human experience. We have a responsibility to, to respect that. We've got a responsibility to make sure that we carry that uh, forward into the future, that our children get to enjoy that same legacy, you know, that story, that history, and that sense of identity that comes with being in basically like one of the smallest and most interesting states in the United States.